Welcome to Midnight Mule FPL. I'm Midnight Mule and this is the video for Game Week 13 where I show you my plans for my team. But before that, let's see who did well in Game Week 12. In Game Week 12, the highest score in our Midnight Mule Mini League was 93 points and Evan Lawless managed this with Garnacho Cheese, 93 points. And that was with Captain Salah 26, Kuna 16, Saka 13, Gel Pedro 12, then six from Raya, Collins and Gabrielle. And nothing on the bench, so that was very nice. But wait, <laughs> also Jack Tucker with Tucker 11 got 93 points as well. That was with Captain Salah 26, Kuna 16, Saka 13, Jao Pedro 12, Raya, Gabriel, Mikolenko 6. And nothing on the bench to speak of. But then Uros Ilic with Kanate Believe It also got 93 points. And that's the first time this has happened where three have got the joint highest score. And that was with Salah 26, Captain, Kuna 16, Saka 13, Jackson 12, Gabrielle 6, Flecken 9. And on the bench, nothing that would have helped. So again, very good. And our leader is still Robert Burt with Robsdale 11. He managed 59 points. That was with Captain Salah 26, Jackson 12, and that's all. But on the... Oh no, he had Solanke 5. And on the bench, Poro 14, Bowen 7, Fabianski 6. So that was very unfortunate. All those points left on the bench. But... He is still our leader. As for me, I'm all the way down in 393rd. I got 46 points. Now, you might think I'll be upset with that, but actually I'm not. I'm pretty pleased with the weekend score. And that's partly because after the first nine players had played, that's what's on the screen now, I'd had no returns. And Bremo got three, and the next highest score was two. Robinson, Gavardi, the two players I brought in, they got zero. But... At the end of Saturday, of my really bad score, I really didn't have any negative emotions about it. And I think part of it was I made the moves that I wanted to make and I was playing the game the way I want to play it. So had I been 50-50 between Gabrielle and Gvardiol, then I might have been a bit annoyed at myself. But I wasn't. I was like, I want Gvardiol. So I'm following an idea and so I'm just completely calm about it. Now, as it happened... Salah ended up getting 26 points to my captain. Fabianzi got six. So ended up with a red arrow, but it wasn't a massive red arrow, which is nice. So there we are, 46 points. Game week ranked just outside the 6 million mark. So it was a red arrow, but back in game week 10, when I was on 3.5 million, I did say that my short-term goal is game week 12, try and get to 3 million. And I've done it. So given that, I achieved my goal. I'm happy enough. My next goal target is game week 19. So the end of the year, I want to be at 1.6 million or better, but 1.6 million is fine. And I think that's achievable, but let's see if it happens or not. So I'm currently 245 points from top spot. So if I can outscore top by 10 points a week, I can still win the whole thing. Thank you very much to everyone who watches these videos, subscribes, comments, likes. But the main thing is just watching them. So thank you very much. Now, the FPL Game Week website, you can look at the Content Creators League and see where you'd feature. And I like to compare myself to see how I'm doing against people that I like to watch. FPL Tips are currently top. FPL Harry the Hero, he's down in third. And Top Man James, he's in fourth place. I'm all the way down in 66th, which is six points above Yelena, six behind FPL Salah, and I'm 10 points behind Gianni. Regarding transfers for Game Week 13, I made two at the weekend because of price changes and I offloaded Haaland and Raul Jimenez and I brought in Kuna and Jao Pedro. Now, I could go further and do things like get in some Arsenal players or United players because I have none from those two teams. But by doing nothing else, I have the option of next game week getting Haaland back if I want to or I could go to Saka or I could go to Fernandes. I could go to Jackson if I wanted to. So I've got options. So this game week, I think Arsenal could well hurt me. But if they don't do anything, then I'll get away with it, I think. But we'll see what happens. So my team, as it lines up at the moment, I've currently got Captain Salah at home to Man City. And he he might do all right. We have to see. 
I think he's going to be the most captain player, though, so he's the right one for me to captain. Then vice captain is Palmer at home to Aston Villa. Then I've got Fabianski at home to Arsenal. West Ham have had two clean sheets in a row. That may be a bit super lucky, especially on the game against Newcastle. But who knows? The, there's a remote chance they keep a clean sheet against Arsenal. And in any case, I haven't got a choice when it comes to keepers. I have Aiton Nori at home to Bournemouth with his mate Kuna. I have Mbwema at home to Leicester. Chris Wood at home to Ipswich. Jao Pedro at home to Southampton. Now I have got Robinson and Smith row away to Tottenham, which a lot of managers won't fancy that. But there's a very interesting thing with football, and you see it a lot in the FA Cup with giant killing, which is when a team beats a team that's better than them, the next game they do tend to do worse. And for Spurs to go away to Man City, even with Man City in their current form, and to win 4-0 was a big overstretch. So if you look at the history books, it would suggest that the next game week, Tottenham are going to underperform, and they've lost their keeper, so I'm perfectly comfortable playing Smith Rowe and Robinson away to Spurs. And then Gvardio away to Liverpool. He might get something. I may get lucky. So very exposed by having no Arsenal players. I think Ferdinand's, Fernandez might do well as well for United. So I could be getting a red this week, but hopefully not a big red. Well, who knows? Maybe I get a nice little green. And then on the bench, I've got Ramsdale with his broken finger who's not playing. Rodgers. Lewis, and then Bednarak, who's also injured. As for the background image, I was wondering what to do. And we went to a Chinese takeaway tonight, and I was in the Chinese takeaway thinking, what should I do for a background image? And I thought, well, i just do a picture of our food. So there we are, football chow mein, very nice dish. I think it's number 14. And there we have it. What happened in game week 12 and my plans for game week 13. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a fun game week 13. And if you get a red arrow, I hope you don't get any negative emotions and you can just enjoy the ride. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>